Hey guys, what's up? Ants Canada here. Welcome to the Ants Canada Ant channel once again. And for the millionth time, sorry for the late upload. I wanted to wait until we had a winner. Um, in our last video, we announced that we opened a new forum, the Ants Canada Ant Forum. And to celebrate the opening of the new forum, we held a contest called the What is Ant Love Contest, where you simply had to answer and let us know what is ant love to you. You just had to answer the question in the form of either words like a verbal blurb or whatnot you could hand in an image or a meme or you could have created a video and so since we did that last week we had a huge response and so many of you guys sent in your entries we had over 300 entries and it was a lot to go through the ants canada and forum team sorted through all of your awesome responses and let me tell you it was one of the toughest decisions to make and we also announced that the winner would be taking home a free ants canada omni nest large formicarium but as we started getting entries we knew right away that it would be super hard to choose just one winner so we decided that 14 finalists of all of our top picks would receive a free ultimate ant keeping handbook courtesy of ants canada all right so let's get to it so the top winner of the omni nest large put a lot of effort into his entry though the competition was tough this person we felt really went the extra mile to create an answer that really impressed us um, to the question, what is ant love? And so here is the winner. Congratulations to XX Lone Song XX. This was his entry. Ant love by Haiba. Ant love is commitment. Commitment of that you will care for your queen and all your work. Biology. Why ant love is biology? Because if you like biology, then you will more love your ants. Hard work. Because you love them so much, you become hardworking. Helping. Well, ants like to help. Well, you love ants, help people in need too. Nature. They are big piece of nature. And love nature equals love ants. Satisfy. If you catch a queen, then it grows to a big colony, you feel loved and satisfied. Thanks for watching and hearing, wish you all good luck. Alright! Congratulations, XX, Lone Song XX. We felt that you really went the extra mile, as we said before. You created a video, Stop Motion Animation. Wow. And as a video maker myself, I realized how much time that takes. Um, and he narrated a very neat response to the question um, and using some of the ants to create letters really really creative um, with background music and that sort of thing very impressed and congratulations for winning your very new omni nest large formicarium courtesy of ants canada and for the top 14 finalists they are listed in the description box and also will be messaging you through pm through the ants canada ant forum to let you know how you can claim your price so guys, if you didn't win anything, if you weren't any of the top 14 finalists, don't worry. We'll continue to hold these fun contests and you know us, if you've been following us for a while, we love to give away free stuff to you guys who support us. So be sure to keep checking back at that section in the contest section of the Ant Forum where we will continue to announce other promos or other contests that we'll have. Now, speaking of the Ants Canada Ant Forum, I wanted to thank you guys so much for joining the forum. And I also wanted to give you guys a brief tutorial, a sort of how to use the forum, just the basics of how to get around ACAF. All right, guys, so here is the forum. Uh, for those of you who haven't joined, be sure to join. It's really easy. You just have to create a username and a password. And this is a separate username and password from what you might have created on the website. This is a forum that is not hosted locally on antscanada.com. It's actually hosted somewhere else. So you have to sign in and register and create a new account, um, even if you have an account at Ants Canada already. So I'm just going to quickly go over some of the sections here. I can explain the madness that is the organization of this entire Ants Canada forum. Now, uh, the first section is the Ants Canada Ant Forum. So this is a section for stuff and material dedicated to this new Ants Canada forum, the ACAF. 
Um, and there you'll find updates, announcements, you'll find the list of rules. Um, if you have any questions in, or you need support or if you have suggestions for the forum, you uh, can simply click at that section and post anything you like in that section C. To create a topic, you just click here, see new topic and so forth. Very easy, self-explanatory for those of you who have been part of a forum. I'm sure this is a breeze for you guys. You can also search this forum. Um, and let's go back. So the next section here is the Ant Canada Ant Store. So this is uh, a section for information relating to anything regarding AntCanada.com. Uh, so that includes the GAN project, any announcements, contests, promos, or events. They'll be listed in this subform right there. If you want to join the Ant Canada team, I post listings there. Right now we're looking for some graphic designers to help us with some of our graphics. You can find out how to help um, in that section right there. Stuff about our products. We've got, you know, a section for OmniNest questions, hybrid nest, series posts. We've got website support, payment, and shipping and handling section there. If you have any questions, there's also a great FAQ there to help you. Um, and we also have a section for product suggestions and upcoming products. So you can check that section out. Of course, our videos, if you have any suggestions for videos, you can leave them there in that section and we'll have a look at them and consider your topics. And finally, a section for Ants Canada testimonials. And that's for you guys with Ants Canada formicariums, Ants Canada products, or if you've dealt with us through the GAN project, you can leave anything Ants Canada related in the testimonials section. Moving on to the next uh, subcategory here, that's the Ant Community Hub. So this is basically dedicated to the people who are part of this entire forum here. If you click there, you'll find a section for new members. Click there and introduce yourself. I'm going to click there right now, see, and tons of people, see, introducing themselves will greet you, introduce yourself, tell us about the ants you have, yada, 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 and we will welcome you to our forum. Um, and to do that again, you just simply click here, new topic, very easy. General ant talk, so anything about ants that, you know, doesn't necessarily fit into the other categories, or you just want to chat about ants, you can post something there. And we have a section for ant keeping for beginners. Now I know when people venture into the ant keeping hobby, it's really overwhelming how much information is out there, and it's also kind of intimidating for beginners. So uh, this section is dedicated completely to you guys. You can post anything whatsoever about ants, and see a lot of people have already posted their questions, and then we break it down for you starting from the basics. This is kind of like a dummy guide section for ant keeping, even though we know you guys aren't dummies, <laughs> you're just beginners. So don't be intimidated, just post there. Next, we have a section for ant meetups, events, and clubs. So if you guys say live in the California area and you wanna do a meetup for Northern Californian ant keepers and you wanna go, um, I don't know, go on a group anting spree, you post here. And then, you know, people from your area will kind of be like, hey, I'm from from that area and then you guys can meet up it's really kind of a cool place um, so that's the ant keeping community hub the next section is ant keeping and husbandry now this is a very big section so I had to organize this section carefully so we have an ant FAQ I've put a lot of our frequently asked questions in that section and I'll be adding more as we go along see I've got an ant uh, FAQ ant colony care, FAQ starting an ant colony. I've got an ant glossary here. See, I've started these. Um, and if you click on the ant glossary, it has all ant terms from A to Z. It's all there. So if you have any questions about like what a certain term means, you just look it up here. See, very easy. So that's the FAQ glossary and that's in the and FAQ section. Then we have a section for nuptial flights, schedules, and sightings. Um, that's if, say, you know, you live in, I don't know, the UK, and right now, Laceus Niger is flying. So, see, a lot of people are posting about Laceus Niger. Some people are asking, Laceus Niger in MO, in Missouri. Um, and so if you have any postings, if you want to either ask when a certain species is flying or if you want to post and inform people that a certain species is flying in your area, feel free to do that in that section. Um, and then we have ant care and ant keeping. So this is basically anything that relates to ant keeping, tons of stuff, whether it be just general ant keeping or ant keeping of specific species, really, really great. Um, formicariums and ant setups. Here you can post about your various formicariums, whether it be an Ants Canada formicarium or one that you've done yourself. 
uh, share it with us. We'd love to read about them, find out what you find works, what doesn't work, etc. Maybe give you guys suggestions. If you want to ask for suggestions, you can post that up there and experienced innkeepers can help you out. And diet and nutrition. Now this I had to create a separate section for because I know this is such a key feature of ant colony care that it really deserved its own section. So that's there for you. Um, and then finally we have the ant graveyard. Now this I wanted to add because it's kind of got a twofold function. One, it's to post about your colonies so we can all grieve together and you know wish you condolence and that sort of thing for the colony that has passed. But it also allows other ant keepers to learn what mistakes you've made. Why a certain colony or a queen failed to uh, survive. Maybe you can get some answers as to why a certain colony died. It's actually a learning section as well. So that's the ant graveyard. And that's all in the ant keeping and husbandry section. Now moving on to the ant science, journals, blogs, vlogs, and lifestyle. This personally is my favorite uh, section because uh, several reasons. One, because all the ant science is here. So we've got a section for myrmecology, laboratory field work, publications, documentaries. People have already begun to post stuff. Budding myrmecologists, this section is for you. You can read up on the more deep science stuff. Um, and here is my favorite section. It's the ant journals, videos, and blogs. So this here is a section for people with ant colonies that want to start journals on their ants. And what I love about it is if you have a certain species, you can follow certain journals. Um, and you know get some tips from them and possibly some ideas or even suggest some ideas to people and give them uh, tips on how to care for a certain species perhaps. So this section is really helpful. Um, one of the things I find great about the Ants Canada Ant Forum is you can actually subscribe to specific forums. Now see if you want to subscribe to this Ant Journals video and blogs forum you can or let's say you want to subscribe to this uh, journal called My Formica Queen by Carl75. All you do is click there, and then you can subscribe. See, here it says subscribe to topic. You click that, and every time there's a new post, uh, you get informed about it. So it's really great. So you can subscribe to all of your favorite journals here, which is a fantastic feature I love. Um, and you can learn tons. So if you have an ant colony and you know you pretty much have mastered ant keeping, please feel free to contribute to the section and journal about your ant colony so other people can learn. Um, it would be really, really helpful. And I love browsing this section as well. Ant photography and artwork. So if you like taking photos of ants, you click here and there are tons of photos and that sort of thing. Really, really great. Um, museums and zoo section. This section is for posting about museums and zoos featuring ants. Um, I know several museums in the world have ants and feature ants and maybe ant keepers want to know where they are. So you could post that stuff there. Um, back to the main section here. The next section is interesting. This is called the heated and controversial ant debates section. Now I know a forum is a community of many, many people, and that includes many, many personalities. I, in my experience from joining forums, a lot of people tend to be really passionate talking about things they're passionate about. And sometimes it leads to some heated debates and some really strong language. Um, and I'm not talking about swearing or vulgarity because that is completely banned from this Ants Canada Ant Forum, but I'm talking about heated conversation. Now, for a lot of people, this heated conversation is, you know, pretty educational. I've seen some really controversial and heated debates about ants before, and it's it can get a little aggressive, but still very educational. So instead of having to ban really, really aggressive conversations, we have a heated and controversial ant debate section where we, the moderators, will move certain heated topics in case it gets a little sort of negative vibe-ish. I guess. Um, and that way, for those of you who want to browse and surf this forum and still be in a good mood, <laughs> um, you don't have to worry about seeing that sort of heated, controversial debate. And for those of you that love that kind of heated debate, you can go here. But remember, again, this is not a section for bashing or any kind of vulgar or that sort of thing, you know, you'll be banned. But we do allow aggressive sort of heated debates and they go into this section. And right now there are zero posts there, which means we end keepers are very, very diplomatic, I guess. And we're very friendly, which is a good sign. Um, and finally, we have the everything else section, which is just, well, pretty explanatory. Everything else, stuff that doesn't have to do with ants. Um, and 
I can see a lot of you guys have ant topics here still, <laughs> which is fine because a lot of us are struck with ant love. So uh, that is the forum then. Um, and it's really exploded in just one week we have 446 members which is great that's really amazing now my favorite way to surf this board is either to go directly to my favorite sections all the sections with new posts are colored green you'll see um and those that do not have new posts are just black um, so you can just click on those sections directly or what i like to do is i like to click on here it says new posts and then it'll post all the latest posts um, and then I can choose from there so I can just kind of learn and I don't have to go hunting for all the new posts as you can see here you've got a top bar you have a section here where you can fix your profile I'm gonna click there so when you click there you've got a user control panel your profile section and you can upload a photo uh, change your bio all of that sort of thing you have a private messages section you see and it tells you when you get a private message and a notification section which is great so like let's say someone responds to one of your posts it will let you know here in the notification section really kind of cool so to upload photos it's very very simple all you got to do is upload a photo to photo bucket or some kind of image sharing site you take the URL and then what you do is here when you're posting you click this image button and then there will be a code and in between there you paste the code whatever it might be slash www photo bucket blah 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 sort of thing and then when you submit it the photo will appear now to upload a video all you got to do is simply grab the YouTube ID you see that's this code right here at the top after the V equals that is your video ID then you click on YouTube and then paste the video ID there and then when you submit the video will pop up and that my friends is the Ants Canada Ant Forum and a lot of you guys have joined and it's really blossomed into this huge massive ant space where ant keepers all around the world can contribute and learn from each other and we're really really proud of it so thank you guys so much for the support and if you haven't joined yet please join us and there you have it guys thanks so much for watching our new video be sure to subscribe to our channel for more ant videos and please 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 join us on the ants canada ant forum it's ant love forever guys bye hey what's up guys thanks so much for watching my video it really means a lot to me remember to subscribe if you liked what you saw and don't forget to check out some of the other videos on my channel like a video on how i catch queen ants during nuptial flight or our solenopsis geminata playlist it's ant love forever guys bye